We all have heard what Olympics is and the power of international sporting events that brings together people of different nationalities, race, color and gender in the spirit of good sportsmanship. Similarly, think of what that can imply when artists from all over the world meet together to share their art and story with complete autonomy, freedom and promote access to one's unique culture and art. The 10th National Theatre Olympics was a testament to these values which was held in the capital of Hungary, Budapest, and this year, for the first time, a group of Tibetan artists from Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts was also invited to showcase Tibetan opera at the festival. To tell us more about Tipa's first international feat in the 10th National Theatre Olympics, we have Mr. Tundup Tsering, the director of the Tipa, in our studio today. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on this big, wonderful uh, feat for Tipa. I think all of us are proud of uh, this moment. And uh, can you tell us how that happened? And uh, can you also uh, run through uh, Tipa's participation in the 10th National Theatre Olympics and the other performances in uh, other European cities? First, I would like to extend thank you uh, for your compliment. So yes, uh, it is a big uh, historic moment for the Tibetans, especially for the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. We got this international platform to take part in the uh, 10th National Theatre's Olympic in Budapest. So this all happens because of the main uh, reasons of the blessing of His Son's Dalai Lama because uh, one of the uh, Hungarians, Lama, who run the Buddhist center in Hungary, he received a lot of teachings from his holiness when he son visit to Budapest in Hungary in the past, before 2011. So uh, this year, that uh, 10th National Theatre Olympic will be going to be held at Hungary. Usually this theater was started in Greece in 1995. So every year, all the countries, they alternately they host these events. So this year, Hungarians are going to host this uh, event. So he recommend to the Hungarian theater directors and the uh, uh, board members to be invited to the Institute of Performing Arts to take part in these great events. Because of the, his recommendations, the finally they sent the invitations to us in last year. So through that invitations, we had a lot of uh, follow-up series of discussion through virtually and meetings. And through that, we already, all the norms and conditions, we fell out what could be done, and what story should be we play and how many persons to be take part. And this all the details like uh, financial aspect and the logistic aspect, everything is comes we, uh, comes under the terms and conditions. So finally, this uh, uh, conditions was finalized in the last year, in maybe month of December. From that stage, so we have been able to uh, attend to this National Theatre first time ever uh, since from um, last 64 years, we have been performed many culture shows across the world, but Tibetan unique opera will be the first ever time to be performed in the National Theatre, which uh, consists of the around 58 countries with the 400 uh, opera associations across the world, and uh, 1,500 events have been showcasing in the 70 uh, different theatres within the Hungarians. So this has been start from the 1st April 2023 to 1st July 2023. This is a three months of era marathons. So it's a great pleasure and honour to be take part of the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts to perform and grab this international platform to be play our unique Tibetan opera in this national theatres. 
Since this is uh, Tipa's first international uh, feat where you got to show a uh, very popular Tibetan opera like Nansa Wim Boom and uh, the life of Gautama Buddha uh, to, an in to an international audience, I'd like to know how uh, were the responses and receptions uh, like? Usually uh, to perform a showcase at Tibetan opera, you will take a one day, for one day is consists of the seven to eight hours at least. But for the international audience, we have to condense this into the limited time. So that's why, so preparing and rehearsing that, so we have shortened into the four hours. First, we have all our Tibetan script uh, translated into the English, and that has been forwarded to the national theaters. They have translated into the Hungarians. And also, during the time of the performance, we have uh, uh, make it the subtitles in the English and also in the Hungarians to order to understand by the international audience. So this is a four hours uh, complete uh, sort of uh, performance. So I was wondering and pleased to know that all the audience have packed, maybe there are around uh, 600 plus uh, audience are there. The capacity is 650s of the theater. So everyone is so silently and so patiently, so, so interestingly, so witnessing the, our shows. Finally, the end of the, our show, they have given the standing ovation to the, our artists. They perform, and they upload, and there are also many who have been come to the stage, and they have given the congratulations to the, our artists. They say that okay, this is the first ever time they have witnessed such rich cultural heritage, and this is a wonderful. It's not only for the you are dancing and acting, but you have a lot of, uh, through this, uh, our Tibetan opera is unlike other opera, you have uh, some message to be given to the audience. That message is uh, something that, after watching complete uh, opera stories, then they give us uh, some inspiring, uh, their mind that they create uh, some peace, compassion, and harmonies. So that is a big, this is a Buddhist Seva, Buddha dramas, the teaching has been elaborated and acting into the, your shows. So that is a good message. So they are also uh, encouraging to our artists and also they say that such even should be uh, organized in the future also. So many artists have been interacting with our uh, artists. So this is a something, it's the first time we have been got this great platform. During our performance, we have so many challenges there, but anyhow, we have all the ease of our challenges. We have witnessed the showcase with the satisfactions to the international audience, and they got the good feedback. And even then, all the, our performance, for our performance have been published in their uh, websites in Hungarian language, cover more than four to five pages. So the reason being that this is the uh, first ever time we got this opportunity. So this, through this opportunity, we've been able to uh, exchange our culture with the international uh, artists. Lama Chospel, who is a Hungarian monk, who been recommending to invite the Tipa to the National Theatres. So he have requested to perform a Life of Buddha's biography to the Tibetan Institute of Performance. So we've been there on 11th. So that is in the open stage. More than around 500 Hungarians and the Buddhist devotees are gathered there. So on that open stage, we have performed one hour's Life of Buddha shows to the international audience. So many Buddhist devotees are there, so many artists are also there. So we have got a good uh, start of uh, relationship with uh, those peoples. Uh, talking about the challenges, uh, I'm sure uh, to prepare and to organize such a uh, big event, uh, it must not have come easy. So uh, can you tell us what are the major challenges that you have faced, uh, especially uh, being a representative of a culture that is uh, represented in Tibet right now? To get the visa is one of the main issues because of the way of holding the, uh, our ICs documents. So uh, through IC documents, because of political uh, uh, reasons that uh, it's very difficult to get the Tibetans holding the ICs get the visas. But through, we have a lot of uh, requests met through the Bureau office in Delhi, and also we uh, met with the uh, Hungarian consulate and ambassadors for several times, and we have also got the strong 
and a very competent uh, invitation from the National Theatre Olympics. The reason that then we have requested and finally they agree for that. Performance of the opera is a big deal now. Uh, it's required more than, at, at least to complete performance, we require the 35 uh, groups, troops. But the 35 group is a time is the finance, it's a cost, accommodations, logistics, traveling, everything has come up. So because of that reasons, we minimize uh, to minimum numbers to be fit to the their host country's budget. So we make it into 22, including myself. So this, while making it into 22, this even then, uh, there's a contentious in the four hours. So every uh, characters, so uh, so many uh, artists have more than three to four characters they have to play in one time, so maybe subsequently. So this is one challenge. So rehearsal and preparation is a very uh, big task because we have prepared this for the last one year. For the rehearsal, several rehearsal we've done, we have uh, scrutinized and we are scanning it, we have uh, get the review again and again, because uh, this is performing not to the Tibetan audience, they are, we are performing to the uh, international audience, because this has to be shot in the four hours, and also that we have to make into the translate into the our script, in the English and Hungarians, and also the make it subtitles. Then the make it subtitles. According to the subtitles, we have to each screen we have to make perform. So when subtitles show some things, we are performing show some things. It's a contradiction to each others. Then it will be confused to the audience. So this has required a lot of practice and the rehearsal. So this is the one challenge we got it. Another is that uh, uh, it's the first time we are visiting to the overseas. Uh, so many of the, our artists are the first time to going there. Even the Hungary is the first time for the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts to take part in these uh, great events. For that purpose now, uh, they have a lot of uh, expenses will come up. So that all the expenses through, we have series of discussion and request to the national theaters, the all has been, not only the invitations, all the expenses, including traveling costs, accommodations, logistics, everything is borne by the national theatres. So for to convincing this issue to the national theatre author, authority like directors and the board members, it's not easy that they are not inviting not only us, they have more with 58 countries that they are coming there. So for that we have requested several times, meeting with the several times, finally they have been convinced then all the expenses they have been borne. What has been the major takeaway from participation on such an uh, international stage for TIPA and uh, how would you say TIPA has left an impact uh, on the audience? We have been interact with so many artists and so many scholars and so many intellectuals in the audience who are very cultural loving peoples and the very well known, some of the very well known the Tibetan histories. So through performance, through performance, we have been able to uh, advocate our cultures to the international audience. Through that, we can garner our support for the Tibetan cause. That is the main reasons we have got the achievement for that. The other thing is that through that performance, we have been uh, associates and connect with the uh, peoples. So indefinitely in features, we may get uh, some another opportunity to interact with them. So that is a one bridge or some connection we have been built up with these communities and these peoples. We've been able to showcase our Tibetan unique opera in the international platform. So through that, definitely Tibet opera is one of the most intangible cultural heritage, which is considered by the UNESCO. So that is, uh, even then, with the repression, cultural repression inside the China, uh, Tibet by the Chinese governments, but we are here in the Tibetan Institute of Performing Art, under the guidelines of Houston Dalai Lamas, we've been able to preserve and promote this unique heritage. This is a big uh, uh, sort of, uh, uh, what I call, results or the impact which have been uh, witnessed by the, our international audience, and they have been uh, uh, testimonials they have given that okay this was excellence you have been do a wonderful job so keep it for sustaining and sending this for there so they are very supportive of that so I'm requesting that all the Tibetans living approach in diaspora and the Tibetan communities in such opportunity if you happen
to organize such thing in the future, that would be a very uh, benefits and useful to exchange between the Tibetan to Tibetans, the, in the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts and the others uh, Tibetans who are willing to learn, especially youngsters interested in the loving culture peoples. So this much, I thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Tindupla. Yeah. So this was our today's In Conversation with Mr. Tindup Siring, the Director of Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. We talked about the TIPA's participation in the 10th National Theatre Olympics held in Budapest and TIPA's opera performances in other European cities in the last month. See you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV. Thank you.